My name is Pauline Huron and I've been an architect for a very long time. I met Frank, my husband, at uni. Uh, he was studying architecture as well. And I hadn't quite realised Frank's full potential when we first met uh, because he couldn't throw anything away. I met him in 1956 and we were married six months after we met. We're fortunate that he had a good eye for uh, cars because he's collected over the years a lot of cars. Napier is an old engineering family that started in the early 1800s and four generations later, Montgomery Napier started Napier Motor Vehicles. They produced a vehicle that was available for the mid-level market, and that vehicle was the 15 horsepower that we're looking at today, the 1912 Napier. Interestingly, the 1912 Napier was sold for £357 at the time, but you could purchase it, as most other manufacturers did, for a much lower price of about £90 and was sent out to anywhere around the world uh, where you would choose your coach builder who would build the body of your choice. It was colloquially known as the anti-clockwise car. This is one of those cars, quite rare and quite unique. The Napier was of great interest to him, I think, because looking at it, you could see that it was a car of great interest. And I think that it was, well, I don't know, why do little boys like motor cars? They do. <laughs> and he was a little boy in that regard that he just loved them all. That was another thing that he did. If there was anybody, an older person, a widow, on her own and couldn't drive, he'd do shopping for her. And this particular lady had a big old house, huge garage, and Frank would take advantage of that, I must say, because he'd park a car in the garage. So whenever he heard of a widow, he would uh, have a chat, <laughs> do some shopping and say, I've got a spare spot in your garage, do you mind if I put a car there? So we had cars all over the hills, really. Napier produced 3,274 15 horsepower models between 1907 and 1915. It was a very robust and very popular vehicle. It was used and exported around the world for use in very rough and arduous colonial situations as well as on the home market. This particular model was fitted with a two-seater roadster body, which is quite rare. Today the Napier 15 horsepower is a quite a rare vehicle as many were pushed into service during World War I and even into World War II. A lot were then lost to history, so what we have now is a very rare vehicle that's a very interesting vehicle and will respond very well to a very simple restoration. Well, I, I think it's not right for the car to sit here for another 50 years. I think it needs to have another life. I would hope that somebody who, who has a great affection for that particular type of car, and in particular this one, would, would buy it and look after it. I think he thought all cars were, were things of beauty. He uh, was always very interested in mechanics as well. Just anything that came his way he kept.
all, his affection for the cars was similar to his affection for his children. I think his affection for his children was stronger than his affection for the cars, but he was pretty, pretty fond of them. And they became almost like living beings to him. And when he died, uh, we had a lot of people in Stirling say that Stirling's not going to be the same without Frank. <laughs>